start off at the end, Allah says, وَاتَّقُوا which means, and be conscious of Allah, develop the correct relationship with Allah. And if you are true believers, you should lay your trust in Allah. So what's the beginning of the verse? Allah says, Oh, you who believe, remember the favor of Allah upon you. When there were a people who were who had intended to harm you and they actually planned it and had started the execution of the plan. You know, they, they wanted to stretch their arm of harm against you. And Allah says, we blocked that arm. We stopped it. We, we caused it to cease exactly there. So Allah says, Kaffa idea hum ankum. We stopped their hands from reaching you with any harm. Allah says, think of that favor. Ah, oh, subhanallah. Imagine how, what type of comfort that gives me. What type of hope that gives me. That Allah has my back. Allah will look after you. Behind your back. Allah will protect you. Allah will make sure that those who are planning your downfall will never succeed. They won't succeed. In fact, when someone makes a plan against you or when someone curses you, the justice of Allah is such that he doesn't allow an unjustified curse to go through. I'm going to say that again just now, but let me continue with the second point, And that is Allah will cause that plan, the evil plan, to reach those who made the plan who deserved it. So when you plot the downfall of someone, you're actually plotting your own downfall. Allah says, وَلَا يَحِيقُ الْمَكْرُ السَّيِّئُ إِلَّا بِأَهْلِهِ You know, the evil plot will not uh, surround or will not grip and catch. You know, يَحِيقُ uh, It will not grip the neck of uh, it, uh, anyone besides he who who deserved it, who did it in the first place. You know, the one who is the owner of it, the one who started it. So don't plan the downfall of others because you're actually planning your own downfall.